Yo, this is the L7C here, bringing you a Dark Magician-ish video. Obviously, it's been a couple weeks since the ban list came out, and I wasn't even going to do this video, but I've been on YouTube. Uh, one of the biggest hits of recent memory was Verte Anaconda, and Verte was banned, and obviously with Verte banned, a lot of people lost access to Fusion Destiny and Red Eyes Fusion. And then I saw Dark Magician players sad that Verte was gone because we don't have access to Dragoon as easily or we have to use Red Eyes Fusion Turbo. And with the Red Eyes Fusion, that's that's cool. But obviously, you know, the downside of Red Eyes Fusion, just like any card, if Red Eyes Fusion gets ashed, you lose the game. And I wanted to do something where how I make Dragoon. I don't use Red Eyes Fusion. I don't even use Anaconda. Never have. If you look on our very first videos, I show a video, I did a video on Nexus of how to make Dragoon without Anaconda. And I've been doing with it. The boys I've played with have seen that I can make Dragoon pretty easily if I want to, depending on the cards I have in hand, just like anything else. So I'm just gonna do a little quick little video showing all the different ways you can make Dragoon in a Dark Magician deck. Um, again, this is my way to make him, and you have to run like certain cards to make this happen. So let's just go through one of the replays. And I think I have like eight versions. All right. So this one, just two cards in hand. Uh, Dark Magician, Keeper of Dragon Magic, if you don't know what Keeper of Dragon Magic is, came out a couple years ago. It's one of my favorite monsters. If it's normal special summon, you can discard a card, add a polymerization, normal spell, or fusion normal spell from your deck to your hand. Then you can reveal a fusion monster, bring back the material. So like if I reveal Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, if I discarded this, I can bring it back face down. The reason I love this card so much, searches out a fusion or polymerization. So we go and click play. So right here, you normal summon Keeper, his effect. Discard Dark Magician. This one is just a regular polymerization play. Because then you activate it, reveal Dragon Knight, bring DM back, polymerization, Dragoon. Right there and there, that's a Dragoon right there. Obviously, you have to run Keeper of Dragon Magic and polymerization. But in a Dark Magician deck, now that you have, you're not going to be going to Verte plays, and depending on what you do, you only have one normal summon in a Dark Magician deck, and that's Rod, a pure version. So you can have another one. When you have Keeper, you're getting that easy. Let's go to the next replay. Uh, same two, but we're going to go a different route. going to go Dark there, discard, get Brand of Fusion. You know, one of the top, if not the top Fusion card in the game right now. You can get Brand of Fusion with Keeper of Dragon Magic. Its effect... Mill two, and we milled Albaz and White Stone of Ancients, and then I'll be on the Brandon's effect. When he's fusion summoned, you can fusion summon one level eight or lower fusion monster. So if we had Dark Magician and Keeper of Dragon Magic, we discard the Dark Magician, banish him. There you go, and then that one just gets a blue eyes jet. So that'd be the field right there. So then that'd be it there. So with that, you don't even have to discard. You just have to have them in your grave. And you get a Dragoon hand. Nice and simple. Go to replay three. Uh, the blue eyes is just a random discard. Same thing with Keeper, man. Keeper makes it go. Discard Dark Magician. Get Branded Fusion. Do Branded Fusion. This time we go the other way. So we go the opposite way and go Lubellion. Last time we went Albion. This one went Lubellion. The reason we like Albion more is because we don't have to discard another card if we're going the Keeper route. Because Keeper route, you just discarded two cards. So discard, Dragoon, boom. And the re and again, because we've already had to discard with Keeper, that's why we go the other version instead of Lubellion, because that's two cards. And Dragoon obviously need a card in your hand to negate stuff. But that is another way. Oh, we did bad. So this one's different. This one doesn't have... Uh, Keeper has Rod, Magician Souls, and Tamias the United Dragon. So you go Rod, you can bring any card really. We're just going to get Salvation, Salvation to get Eternal Soul. Then that, Souls, bring back Dark Magician, Tamias the United. Do that, 
fusion summon Dragoon. But the reason we also do get Salvation is because if you're running pure, 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 fun, casual, whatever, or you know your locals at back row Dark Magician, you get this Eternal Soul. One, you flip it, add a Dark Magic attack to your hand, you have a discard for Dragoon. Also, Dragoon doesn't get destroyed if Eternal Soul is destroyed, so you have the plus benefit there. But that's what I typically do. I'll get a Dragoon, set a Dark Magic attack, uh, Eternal Soul, get a Dark Magic attack, so I have an extra discard. It's a free discard you can search. This one is Keeper, so we do that. Get Branded Fusion. And that one, actually, this was different because with Branded Fusion, obviously, people know the Light Hex Seal Crystal, which, that is fine. I'm going with Goddess of the Third Eye, just because she's a level 4. If something were to happen, if I wanted to Synchro into a level 8, or exceed into a level 4 XYZ. But when it's in the field, on the field and in the grave, it counts as a fusion substitute monster. So we made Albion. We're going to banish. Banish 2. Dragoon. Right there. And that one you didn't even have to banish your Dark Magician. You just had to banish the fusion substitute. Really cool there. Uh, two more. Uh, this is a full hand. Actually just made this hand. So you got Keeper. Goddess. Rod. Souls. Secret of Dark Magics. And Fusion Deployment. Another great card. So this one, Summon Keeper, discard the Fusion, it's just the fire. Then get a Polymerization. Uh, since this counts as a Fusion Substitute monster, you fuse him in that, Dragoon. No Dark Magician needed. You just have to have the Fusion Substitute, which people are using with the Light Hexio Crystal, but that's another way if you're running Polymerization. The last one, just wanted to show something. So this one, you're gonna Normal Summon Goddess of the Third Eye. The reason I normal summon the fusion substitute monster is, if you see, I have Secret of Dark Magics in hand. You can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field, including Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl as fusion material and the ritual effect. Goddess of the Third Eye, even though you could substitute this for any one fusion material monster, when you do, the other ones must be correct, you can't use Secret of Dark Magic with this just that because it's not Dark Magician. Now, if I had polymerization, I could just, if this was polymerization, I can just poly, her, him, Dragoon. But it has to be specific. This has to be, you have to use Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. This doesn't change names. So just want to do that with the fusion substitutes. But just, so then we just get Dark Magician, bring Dark Magician. Then we play Secret of Dark Magics. And then we look at the options and we made Dragoon. You're like, how did I make Dragoon when it was a Dark Magician and a Goddess of the Third Eye? Remember, Dragoon is also a Dark Magician plus Red Eyes Black Dragon or one Dragon Effect monster, which is really cool, by the way. So the Dark Magician was there, counted as Dark Magician, plus Red Eyes Black Dragon. Goddess of the Third Eye counted as Red Eyes Black Dragon in that sense. And then Fusion, and there you go. So that's when it was on the field. I can actually do one really quick to show you if that same thing works when it's in hand. So real, and I can do this for y'all right now. Third eye. So we're just gonna move there. Dark Magician. So we need to, and Secret of Dark Magic. Uh, test hand settings. Do the first three. Start. If you play it, boom. Your choice. You can either do Dragoon or the Dark Magicians. You can do the Dark Magicians because she can count as Dark Magician Girl. Dragoon because she can count as Red Eyes. Boom, boom. There you go. And that is it. And we'll name that. Dragoon 9. So the moral of this video, in all honesty, is there are so many different ways to summon Red Eyes Dark Dragoon for the Dark Magician players out there. Don't don't be upset that Anaconda is gone. Because with Anaconda gone, Dragoon is we're allowed to use it. Because obviously that's the strongest monster, strongest card we have in the Dark Magician like type decks. So you just have to be more creative. You can go Red Eyes Fusion. 
You can go branded fusion. You can run fusion substitutes. You have the space. Every Dark Magician deck is different. You just have to be more creative. Me, personally, I'm a fusion guy. I use Keeper of Dragon Magic. I use fusion deployment. Fusion deployment gets Dark Magician out. Boom. Magician Souls gets Dark Magician out. Boom. Keeper of Dragon Magic gets you access to branded fusion and fusion deployment. So that's just the way I do it. So let me know what you guys think. Again, DM players. There are other ways to summon Dragoon. Stop crying about Verte Anaconda. It will be all right. The only thing I wish is if Dark Magicians had a dragon effect monster level four or could be special summoned as a level seven, whatever, and it was a fusion substitute. Then you could search that off of Illusion of Chaos. So the way that Dark Magicians are, because they're very fusion extra deck heavy, which a lot of people don't know. And also with the Dark Magician players, there'll be another video tagged. Use Super Poly. Have that. Because your Dark Magician could take all these dragons, make a Dragoon. And a lot of people don't do that. And I'll have that video tag too. But thank you, everybody. Let me know what you guys think. Other ways to summon Dragoon. Take care.